Ciao che sta in Furia, so Vario Today announced and launched his first VR headset, the VR One, the first VR headset in the world with human eye resolution. And that's pretty, pretty impressive. So in this video, we're gonna discover how this is possible and know all the details about this new amazing VR headset. Let's get to it. Okay, so starting to talk about Vario, this is actually a very successful startup. They raised over $46 million in fundraising and they were able to deliver their prototype that now is actually a real product in less than 20 months. That is actually impressive. But the most impressive thing about this headset is not actually the look, that actually it's very, very sick with this mirrory effect in front. It's not the fact that it's actually heavier than all the other headsets on the market with like around 850 grams that pretty much double the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, but it's the fact that they went well above every other technology on the market to deliver the first headset with the real human eye resolution in VR. Now, what is this all about? How this thing happened? Well, actually, thanks to their own technology for the display, they use two different displays at the same time to assure that you have the focus on the right place and you have the most of the details possible in the place where you're focusing your eyes. Well, this happened with these two displays. They're actually using a context display. That's how they call it. So the display on the back, it's a 1440 by 1600 resolution, 3.4 inches AMOLED display that works at 90 Hz. So a very similar display to the HTC Vive Pro or the Samsung Odyssey Plus, but in this case, a little smaller. So the PPI is already increased compared to the other two. And the main part of the attraction, the focal screen, this is a little micro OLED screen in front for 0.7 inches created by Sony with a full HD resolution, so 1920 by 1080, they stay just in front of the other headset and assure to have the most of the PPI possible, the pixel per inch, so the most pixel density on the market. Now, if you're talking about just this little screen, here we're talking about 6,000 pixel per inch. That is impressive. Just to put it in context, if we talk about the Oculus Rift, that has a pixel per inch of 461 and the Vive 448. And if we talk about the increased resolution of the Vive Pro, well, there we get to 615 pixel per inch. This is actually one tenth of the pixel per inch, the pixel density of this screen. And this is just unbelievable and amazing. And that's actually the mission of this headset, is actually giving the most resolution possible, a human eye resolution in that little spot and be able to do uh, very businesses related stuff, being very precise in little stuff and be able to catch every single detail on the image. Now to ensure that the vision is the best possible, it's actually as most real as possible, they're actually using pancake lenses. So are not the usual Fresnel lenses that you're seeing in all the other headsets on the market because those Fresnel lenses are made also to take read a little of the screen door effect and made everything a little more blur and pleasing for the eyes. In this case, they want to be able to perceive the real resolution of the screen in front and that's why they use the pancake lenses that are usually bigger, more expensive and in glass, of course. If you look at some of these pictures through the lenses, because actually they do through the lenses too, well, you can see the difference between the HTC Vive Pro and this display in front with the right lenses. Well, you can't see any screen door effect and the details on what you found focus is completely lifelike. It's like if you're actually looking at the picture or if you're looking through just a pair of glasses. And it's actually the goal that they wanted to reach and the goal that they reached there. These images are just impressive on what they were showing. Because as they say, resolution in their case is revolution. Now, this is not the only technology they actually created. They also have a proprietary eye tracking that called 2020 eye tracking with the most resolution of eye tracking on the market. And if you put it in context, it's a sub degree of resolution. That means that the resolution that you see is your fingernail in front of you at the distance of your arm. If you move it finger by finger, that's the resolution that you have and the precision that you have in the eye tracking. Now, this eye tracking is not used for, for the other rendering in this case, 
but more to be like precise to collect data in case of the application want to connect data to see where people are looking and also the fact that you can interact better with the things in there without even touching but just looking at those and the precision is very very important here because you have a very precise screen and you want to be able to maybe trigger something just looking with the precision that you have on your vision as well so very very impressive for the eye tracking and that's also connected to IPD adjustment so when you wear it the IPD will get to the right place the right spot in the right time without having to go through different settings and everything we saw this already with the X-Style and it's actually a very interesting technology because if you talk about these in businesses well people that you wear it people that want to have the experience don't have time to maybe measure the IPD and everything they just wear it and they want the most better visual as possible at the right moment, the right time, and well, this is gonna be able to deliver right away. And this headset actually used the Steam VR tracking 2.0, so you're gonna be able to use it with the lighthouses in a very, very wide environment. And that's very important because they actually created a new technology for it, a new cable that is an optical cable that arrives to 30 meters length. So in 30 meters, they're gonna be able to deliver or the data without any problem and that's impressive because we're talking about the five meters that we have on the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, the Windows Mixed Reality, well there we are long above that but even if you have the Steam VR tracking don't expect to use it in games or something like that because this is not for games this is just for businesses and the price is just a little hint of it here we're talking about $59 hundred dollars that is like insane plus a thousand dollar every year to use and to have the support so even more expensive than what you can expect and also the steam vr games are probably not going to be able to run anyway because of the commercial license that there is on this device is not like a consumer license but this is very important because people are going to be able to use it with autodesk or all the different applications that are creating to have like a very high-end simulator surgery and medicals and stuff like that now of course there's a downside of it that is the fov but we have to put it in context here the fov is 87 degrees 86 depends on the press they're saying a little different stuff but uh, you have to think about that the fact that this screen is right in the middle and it's not going to move around so when you try to focus on something on the peripheral view well that is not going to be at the full resolution and in this case to have a smaller fov and narrow fov will help your brain to understand that you have to turn your head around and not just your eyes to focus on something important in front of you so yes it's a trade-off but it's actually something that you can understand in the development of this vr headset and this is not again for games you don't want to see all around you have to focus on something be sure that what you're seeing is exactly at the same resolution of your real eyes and well this goes to that this arrived to this goal without any problem and now we were talking about the fact to be able to work in vr actually one of the last video of the last windows mixed reality update well in that case i was saying that would be amazing to have a 1080p screen in front of you with able to work and focus exactly like you have a screen in front of you even in the virtual world and well with this for the first time will be something possible something available it's not technology as i said that is available for us right now but as we saw in all the other technology market you have to start somewhere you have to start with something that is very very expensive and then that technology is going to arrive in the consumer market market after some time and after getting cheaper and cheaper now this vr headset for me is very very interesting because it's actually a big jump in technology over all the things that we saw today on the market we saw the xtal or the pimax to be very very high resolution but never even close to the 6000 ppi per inch that is what you want to see directly bear in mind in a way that this is the first side of this technology probably in the future this screen is going to be able to move around following the eye tracking and that will unlock a lot of things because we're going to be able to see probably the most of the details exactly where we are looking but are we going to be able mechanically to follow that or are we gonna need maybe a cluster of micro OLED display all there and just switching the resolution up and down with the forward rendering well the eye tracking for sure is one of the key for this technology right now we have something super interesting a big jump 
in resolution, a big jump in technology, and I can wait in the next years to start to see it also coming in the consumer market. For now, anyway, that's all. Let me know what you think about this headset. Do you think that is interesting as I do? Do you think that is actually the future? This is the right direction to go? Let me know in the comment below. And for now, as always, if you liked the video, like, if you didn't like the video, dislike, subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech, because here we're talking about all the VR technology on the market and it's gonna arrive on the market in the future. So subscribe for that. And I see you guys in the next video, actually another True The Lenses video with the Pimax, the Oculus and the Rift. So we can see already the difference pixel density on there for the first generation to generation 2.0 as they call it. But for now, again, thanks for watching. I see you guys next video. Ciao.